guys welcome you all to my channel if this is the first time of coming to my channel thanks a lot don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe so in today's video i guess making a simple video on how to cut pan trousers and this is one of the most requested video here on my channel all you have to do is if you have any topic you want us to make a video on feel free to drop it in the comment section and if you have any question you can also drop that in the comment section so what are the basic measurements required our waist measurements hip measurements round lap round foot and our trouser length i know you're going to be asking how are we going to get our crush measurements how are we going to get our crush measurements all you have to do is relax and stay tuned and i'm going to explain how you are going to achieve that okay so our waist measurement is 30 we have 30 divided by 4 plus 2 we have 9.5 our waist is Hip is 38, 38 divided by 4 plus 1, we have 11.5. Now, the reason why we have plus 2 on the waist and plus 1 on the hip is because on our waistline, we are going to have 1 inch for our dads because, of course, our pant trousers is also going to have that, and that was why we figured out or we added the 1 inch for our dads on the waistline. So, our round lap is 24. Divided by 2, we have 12, plus 2 inches for our sewing allowance, we have 14. Our round foot is 12 inches. Divided by 2, we have 6, plus 2 inches, we have 8 inches. Our trouser length is 43. Now, because our pant trousers is going to have a band, we are going to go ahead and deduct the inches required for our band. Note that the number of inches required for your band determines or depends on you and how big or small you want your band to be. So for me, I want my band to be about 2 inches. So I'm going to go ahead and deduct 2 inches for my band. So now we have our band measurements which is 2 inches. Now I'm going to go ahead and add my sewing allowance to it because of course we are going to attach our band to our trouser, right? So we have 1 inch, we have 3 inches for our band. Now our trouser length is 43. 43 minus 2 inches for our band, we have 41. Now this 41 plus 2 inches again for our ebbing allowance at the lower part, we are going to have 43 inches. So let me just come over again. Our trouser length is 43 minus 2 inches for band, we have 41 plus 2 inches for sewing allowance we have 43 inches why for our band we have two inches plus one inch for our sewing allowance we have three inch for our crotch measurements or flap measurements there are various ways in which you can achieve your flap or your crotch measurements okay note that whichever way or method you use you are still going to arrive at the same answer and the same results so the first method to achieve your crotch line is to sit down on a chair and take your measurements you can also achieve that that way all you have to do is to sit down on a chair and make sure you sit up properly and then you measure what you have that is one method now the second method is mark one inch below your hip line now mark one inch below your hip line now what i mean by that is this our waist to hip is nine inches come down with one inch from your hip line. So you're going to have 10 inches for your crotch. So by the time you sit down on the chair and you also take your measurements, you are still going to arrive at 10 inches. So whichever one you prefer, just go ahead and make use of that and you're going to have like the same results, okay? So don't forget to join us on Facebook, City Designs, on Instagram, City Designs, and also visit our website. We have amazing fashion illustration. I'm going to put down details in the description box and training are available also so we have training both online training and physical training all the details are going to be in the description box below don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe so that is um the first thing we are going to do now is we are going to go ahead and fold our fabric into two and we are starting from the front block basically because we are going to make use of the front block to achieve our back block okay now the first thing we are going to do now is make use of your hip measurement to fold your fabric so our hip measurement is 
9.5 so you go ahead and add about four or five inches this just enables you to know the number of fabric required for you to fold when you want to achieve your pant trousers now once you are done with that go ahead and mark your basic measurements which we have our waist to hip we have eight inches waist to hip we have eight inches waist to our crotch line we have 10 inches now you can determine your crotch line by sitting down on a chair and just measure what you have for your crotch okay so we have 10 inches waist to our knee length we have 17 and a half inches waist to knee length we have 17 and a half and of course i have my trouser length which is 45 inches so i'll just go ahead and indicate the lines so this is what we have now the next thing you are going to do now is to go ahead and mark one inch on your waistline okay go ahead and mark one inch. Go ahead to mark one inch on our waistline now once you are done with that the next thing you are going to do now is to come to your knee length and mark two inches inwards note that you can use two inches or one and a half on your knee length so you just mark two inches or one and a half for your knee length now for our trouser length also also come to our trouser length and we'll mark two inches also this way we'll mark two inches once you are done with that we'll be going in with with our pattern master which is available at our store we'll connect the line from our trouser length to our knee length this way now you also connect your connect your waistline to your hip line so don't forget that this is where our hip line is because we made use of our hip line to fold our fabric so you just connect it this way then you connect it to your knee length So this is what this is what you are going to have. You can see. So you just go ahead and mark it properly. So this is what we are going to have. Now, the next thing we are going to do now is to go ahead and insert our measurements this way. So for our waistline, we have... So we'll go ahead and insert our measurements. So our waist measurements, we have 9.5. We'll go ahead and mark 9.5. Now, we'll also be adding one inch for our dart allowance because we are going to have that. So, note that you can make it of one inch or one and a half inches. It depends on the amount of fabric you are going to hold for your dart. So, I'm going to make it of one inch. So, this is what we have now. 10.5 now for our hip line, we are going to go ahead and insert our hip measurement which is 11.5 go ahead and insert your hip measurements which is 11.5 now also for our crotch line we are going to insert our round lap okay note that you have to divide your round lap by two and not by four so our round lap is 24 divided by two we have 12 then you go ahead and add two inches for your sewing allowance so i have 14 inches this is what we have now also you come to your knee length come to your knee line now for your pant trousers you are going to determine how you want the lower part to be okay so it's going to be like a pencil effect at the lower side so you come to where you have your trouser length and then you mark your foot measurement so our round foot is 12 note that you have to divide your round foot by two we have six i'll go ahead and add my sewing allowance to it i have eight inches for our round foot so you go ahead and connect what you have for your round foot to your crotch line so you go ahead and connect it this way Once you are 
are done with that we're also going to go in with this and connect our waistline to our crotch line so you go ahead and connect it this way connect your waistline to your crotch line so this is basically what it's going to look like you can see so let me just come over again so you mark your for your hip measurements mark your hip measurements add your sewing allowance on your crotch line go ahead and mark your round lap and our round lap and our round foot is divided into two and then you add your sewing allowance why for our waist measurements and our hip measurements you have to divide that into four and you add your sewing allowance to it so this is what it basically looks like what I'm do now is i'm going to go ahead and cut this out cutting it out this is what we have for the front block and of course you are going to have two pieces for the front block so we'll go ahead and set this aside for the back block now we've gone ahead to fold our fabric into two and we've placed our front block on it so the difference between our front block and our back block is on our waistline on our waistline go ahead and mark one inch or one and a half it depends on the size of the person right so for a bigger size you make use of one and a half and for a smaller size you make use of one inch so this is what we have right so the back block is usually longer at the back side with one inch or one and a half now on your crotch line go ahead and mark two crotch line go ahead and mark two and a half or three inches if you're on a plus size you make use of three inches but if you're on a regular size you make use of two and a half inches on your crotch line so we have two and a half inches now you decrease your measurements once you are moving towards your round foot so we have two and a half you come down you mark two inches at your knee length you can reduce it to one and a half and towards your foot measurement you can make use of one inch or one and a half you can just maintain one and a half but note that while you descend you also decrease your measurement so now we'll go ahead with our pattern master and connect it together we'll connect it together this way what we have now another thing you also take note of is why you also increase why you also move towards your waistline you also reduce your measurements so for our crush line we have two and a half at this point mark two inches you can just maintain two inches all the way to your waistline sit together to give you your crotch line for the back block so this is what it looks like so the only difference between your front block and your back block basically is increase your waistline by one and a half at your back block and also for your crotch line go ahead and mark two and a half inches while you move towards your waist you reduce it and while you move towards your foot area also you also reduce it so we'll go ahead and cut out our back block also to give us two pieces so guys for our front block we are going to have two pieces and also for the back block we we'll have two pieces so the next thing we are going to do now is to go ahead and cut out our waistband next thing we are going to do now is to cut out our waistband now we are going to make it of our waist measurement to cut out the band and then you also add about two inches for your sewing allowance now for the wideness of the band it basically depends on how wide you want your band to be so for this I have about six inches for the width and for the length I have my waist measurements plus two inches now by the time I fold it into two this way I'm going to have three inches and by the time I fold it into two this way I'm going to have Three inches and of course I'm going to take out one inch this way for my sewing allowance so at the end of the day I'm just going to have two inches for my band which is fine by me so this is what our band looks like so guys what we are going to do now is we went ahead to take one piece of the back block and one piece of the front block and then we stitched it all the way down once you are done with that for the back block you are going to go ahead and fix in your dart now go ahead and join both the front block and the back block together this way 
so you can see what we have you will end up having like a single piece that is for one pair right so once you've done that now go ahead and make use of your round lap measurements and your round foot measurement to stitch this all the way so by the time you stitch it you're going to have like a complete um pair of one leg right this is what we have you can see our trousers is ready and you can see how fitted it is so this is the back block and for the front block this is what we have now you will discover that the only part we did not stitch is where we have our flap you can see the flap so what you are going to do is very simple so this is one pair now what you are going to have you can see we have one pair this way and then we have the second pair this way now you are going to go ahead and take this midpoint which happens to be the middle part of our round lap and then you also take the midpoint of this go ahead and join the two midpoints together make sure that the midpoint meets together right so once you are done with that now you go ahead and stitch this this way so you just stitch the back block together and then you stitch the front block so once you are done with that you're going to have a complete piece now our band now this is what we have now just to give our band a form of structure i'm going to make use of this my paper stay and i'm making use of the soft paper stay right so we have like the shining part and we have the smooth part so go ahead and iron this shining part to your band the essence is just to give it this form of structure right so once you've done that now once you've done that this is what you are going to have so the next thing you are going to do basically now is to go ahead and fix in your band into your trousers so you just stitch it this way for like you have a complete space and then you go ahead and take your band now take your band now and then stitch it into your trousers so by the time you are done you are going to have this i don't know if you guys can see let me just zoom it so this is what you are going to have. You can see how the band fits in well. So once you are done with that now, I will show you guys. So guys, this is what our pan trousers looks like. You can see how fitted it is. We went ahead to attach our band and we fixed in a zip at the side. So this is what it looks like. So thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, like, share and subscribe i'll see you guys in my next one bye